Hunter Jake here with my review of the Video Blasters V6 High Rate of Fire Blaster that I will forever now just simply call the V6 because saying V6 High Rate of Fire Blaster is too much of a mouthful. <laughs> so, the V6. This was sent to me for review. I did not pay for this. Video Blasters contacted me and asked if I want to check this out. And much like Captain Xavier, I am. I am somebody who has no shame when it comes to getting free stuff. I agree with him on that. Now that does not affect my opinion of the of the review. I will give you an honest review here. And this is basically a worker dominator clone. And it comes with a, a pretty neat uh, it looks like the Hydra Dip film style of paint jobs. I actually think it's a pretty neat paint job overall. It it looks pretty sharp. It's almost my colors, which if you know, my colors are the same as Team Mongoose for the BMX and mountain bike teams with white, gray, black, and orange. Well, outside of just need a little bit of white, we're good to go. Now, it comes with a lot of tactical accessories. Some I have on here, some I don't. But I did just kind of splatter them all over. As in, it has a laser. It has a little red dot sight. It has an ACOG style sight on top. That surprisingly has magnification factor it's not labeled it I can't tell you but I know it does actually magnify which is kind of interesting and and I like these style of sights regardless so it stays on you also do get a attachable angled foregrip as well as a vertical foregrip that has a light now this one in my testing has already broken that's why it's not on there I did I did go ahead and glue it but I wouldn't trust it. I glued it, but mm, this is a pretty sizable blaster. You get running around with it, and it broke along the entire surface of one of the clamping sides. So when it broke, it was literally just, it all of a sudden fell out. You know, if you're not expecting it, you don't know to hurry up and grab it, you drop your blaster, which is exactly what happened. So angle foregrip it is forever, forever and ever now. Now it does come with this whole attachable front piece that does have a insertable metal barrel. Why you would ever want to do this on a flywheeler, that escapes me. I don't know. Because it drastically reduces the performance. Now of course, also touching on the things it comes with, it also does come with a 40 round double stack full length mag. You only get the one, that's it. And as far as I can see, I didn't see any in the description on video blasters listing for the v6 i did not see a extra mag that you could purchase now i've heard conflicting reports of yes it does no it doesn't take worker dominator mags if it does take worker dominator mags which i don't own a worker dominator so i cannot test that for myself but if it takes it great that's an easy way to get them if it doesn't then that's a shame because why would you do that why would you make a a double stack 40 round mag that's not compatible with the other 40 round double stack mag on the market because while proprietary stuff can be good if it's an advantage like say it's a superior product if it's just proprietary just to be proprietary why so let's move on 40 round double stack mag in a flywheeler with three stage flywheels and there is a three stage cage in there and with again why that's way too it's way too small of a diameter of a barrel to be running on a flywheeler and it's also as i'll grab a dart here and i'll show you it's also not it's also not good enough of a fit that you could run this as a springer barrel it's really loose so it's neither Neither beneficial for a springer to be running this kind of barrel, but it's also a hindrance for a flywheeler because it is a tight enough tolerance that the dart is going to drag all the way across this. So this, I don't know why. If you don't run it, you'll see that you would get a whole lot of jams inside of this because without it, unless you were to drill this out like the whole way, like say if you had a drill press and you were able to drill this out, say like an inch in diameter, and then maybe fit CPVC or or something similar down in. 
that would be the only way you could run this because as is I had a lot of problems running it with this setup and when I did get it to fire it was drastically reduced performance like down in the 100 FPS range so I continued my test as this with my functional vertical foregrip uh, angle foregrip I had to take off the vertical and then I did leave the other tactical accessories on just for the heck of it now one thing to note, once you've removed the included front attachment, you can put on your run-of-the-mill Nerf attachment and it will secure. So you can have you can have a muzzle of some other variety. Now, of course, this is what everybody's here for. You don't get a full auto, triple staged, 40 round double stack mag in a one complete package as a blaster and not want to see a mag dump. So here we are. And yes, it's awesome to do that. It really is. And that was the entire mag completely free of GM's hesitations. And it, even though it is running on a small 2S battery pack, which that is placed here, there's one single Phillips screw that comes with it with a little USB charger. I charged it overnight each time I used it. And it's supposed to be a smart charger, but it's a very economical one. Now, with this setup, which this is how I tested it for the remainder of the test, I actually was averaging about 145 feet per second on carefully, you know, it, it's a very, very high rate of fire. Let's actually take a look in there. That's a very high rate of fire. Now, I believe they claim 7 to 12 darts per second, and I absolutely could validate that. But they actually don't claim as high of a velocity as I was getting. I was getting consistently with this setup, like this, with this muzzle, I was getting in the 140s. Like, no matter what dart I threw through it, except for it did not like Busby Precise Pros or Adventure Force Waffle Tips. Didn't like them. It did actually fire without any issues the Accustrike copies. I actually had them in that mag. About, I had about eight of them in there. So, no problems with most darts. And pretty good performance straight out of the box with very little drop in performance even though you think with the triple stage firing full autos 40 of them with that high rate of fire you'd think that there'd be a pretty you know big drop off towards the end of the mag as you can see in here there wasn't so big marks now how much does this thing cost well Right now, currently, is priced at $109.99, so $110. That's a bit of a price for a blaster. And with one, one issue already happening once, and while the ergonomics are good, I mean very good, this, this grip is pretty comfortable. I have a large hand, and I know. Everybody's going to think, you're the Busby guy. You don't get to complain about grips. Okay, noted. <laughs> but... The, uh, the grip here could stand to be a little bit smoother, longer, both, either or. Because this has a very chunky end to it, right here. And your hand, at least mine, once I put the webbing of my thumb all the way in, I am resting on this big chunk of plastic, basically. So if you have anything less than a XL or double XL size hand, you're probably fine. And otherwise, the ergonomics are very, very good. With one distinct caveat. Now, some people may not mind it. Your mag release is what looks like the tiniest little button they could possibly fit right here. It is the tiniest little button ever. And it's only on, it's only on the left hand side. So I've had to grab the mag, push it with my thumb, and then pull. However, the button is so small, you have to be pretty conscientious to make sure you depress it and pull down. So, I mean, the other option is that you flip the blaster kind of like this and hit it with your actual grip hand and hit the button. So, a couple of caveats to the ergonomics. But the foregrip is very nice. The blaster is very well balanced, especially with the mag inserted. 
and the stock is pretty good. And some people are going to think it's a little on the shorter side, but it's pretty good. The actual profile on the back fits my shoulder nicely. I'm able to pull it in. I don't feel like I'm too choked up on it. And all in all, this package as it is, isn't overly too long. Now, this is just a this is just a copy of the modulus muzzle. So with the standard one, they're a little bit standard was a little shorter, about say that. This would be a pretty compact package holding 40 rounds, able to literally spam shots for about $110. And with the performance as it is, that's pretty good. Now, just like Captain Xavier noted, the plastic isn't the absolute pinnacle of quality. He compared it to Busby, and I think that on some cases, that's a valid comparison. It, it doesn't feel, I wouldn't say it feels better than say like a Thermal Hunter. I, I would say it's, not, it's definitely not up to like say Nerf Rival standards. It feels a little one step below that, but pretty solid overall. All the noise you're hearing is this thing. Yeah, very rattly, but the blaster itself is solid. So for $110, you get a triple stage, 40 round double stack mag with full auto performance that does stand up to what you would expect. And overall, I think it's a pretty desirable package. I hadn't even noted it, but the, the included stock is solid, but it does accept Nerf and worker, but anything that's end strike compatible. So keep that in mind. Your favorite stock will also fit on here. But I actually like the included one. It's actually pretty good, especially for an off-brand blaster. So for an off-brand blaster, is it worth over a hundred dollar bill? I would actually have to say it probably is. I, I know that's not a real emphatic, yeah, it's absolutely worth it, but because I don't know. Is it something that you yourself are after? I'm more of a Springer guy, but this thing does put a smile on my face. It really does. I mean, a mag dump out of this is pretty awesome. And I didn't have to build up a Dominator to do it. So I guess that's uh, that's really the uh, the buyer of it. Is I would, you know, you're not really a flywheel guy, maybe, or, or girl. And you'd like to try out, you know, something that's of that level of performance. But I do think there is some odd potential here. I think that, you know, you have the option to upgrade the motors and this one might be the perfect platform for me to kind of give that a shot. I think, to be honest, my my flywheel modding experience has been more down the lines of Strife's and the uh, odd Busby Brute or Cyclonic. So this might be more of, you know, time for me to step it up a little bit and Mod, mod this thing. But as is, it provides pretty good performance. Kind of like the, um, we'll say, it's the Nexus Pro of upper tier flywheelers. You know, you actually get into the uh, above HVZ level performance and you're doing so, I mean, you actually have to detune this a little bit to be HVZ compliant. So, I mean, that that's where it stands. It's actually above HVZ level performance so you would have to detune it. And that's pretty good. <laughs> Straight out of the package. And it comes with enough accessories that you know you can personalize it to what you want. The uh, laser sight is actually effective. This sight, for for those who peep, who like open sights, it's good enough as it is. It does actually have a green crosshair that lights up. And that's pretty neat. I like the... Uh, I actually like... The fact that there's a genuine magnification to the ACOG site, that's it's pretty neat. So, yeah, I, I can give my thumbs up to this thing. If you're, if you're willing to spend $110 on a flywheeler, I mean, what else, what else are you going to directly compare this to? And that's what, you'd have to, that's what you'd have to do yourself. For $110, what else to compare to? And I had seen Xbox games, he had said, that his took Dominator Max. That's the only confirmed time I've seen anybody say it. So if he said it, it's probably true. And if that's, you know, if his at least did, 
that confirms it enough for me that hey, if it'll take Dominator Mags, you can grab you know grab six, seven, eight of those, grab this, and have at it. It's a pretty aesthetically pleasing package that's good enough ergonomically that I can't really complain too much, and the performance backs it up. So, yeah. The V6 from BU Blasters. Link will be in the description below. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I do. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.